Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Saturday, October 24th, 2015. Ra here in the Lynn Body Mind, Betty Jean in the Jamie Body Mind, other teammates and other aspects of the physical dimension, all of us in the physical dimension, and all of us in the subatomic levels of the physical dimension from the perspective of the spirit world viewers. As a collective, as a team, Team Takedown has been struggling with difficulty in discerning our assignments and with the pattern of not doing what's ours to do that has been the pattern shared by the spirit world, nature realms, and physical dimension presences in all dimensions that we have as yet crossed paths with. That's true. Because our clarity is off, we don't know whether or not that's supposed to be what we focus on in the videoed portion of today's effort. So we're going with the background intention, which is to do what is ours to do right now, in all dimensions right now, to manifest the divine plan. The data clearly showing what's needed is to provide a collective restart. The data also quite clearly showing that almost everyone perceives a collective restart to mean uh, death and almost everyone is afraid of death and so it's possible we'll be doing something to work with that foundational fear of death because it's unreasonable it makes no sense that's true with that it begins someone is here and they're asking me questions uh, and the question sounds like what do you know but I know what they mean they they're referring to the phenomenon we've observed that shows that in this interdimensional effort, part of what's required is that we presences cross dimensional barriers. That's Learn true. how to cross dimensional barriers. That's this true. is a, a seldom seen and little used art. That's true. And yet it's essential for us to work as an interdimensional team and working as an interdimensional team seems to be an essential part of manifesting the divine plan. That's true. The data clearly showing what's needed is to provide a collective, collective restart. restart. And the data also clearly showing that almost no one wants to live their soul plans. Almost no one wants to do what's theirs to do. That's what's under the band-aid. The hidden truth is, I don't want to do it. That's true. I don't want to do it. And so good people, the best people with the best intentions, hold back at the wrong moments, making poor choices, and then things get suddenly much more difficult than they were a half hour before or a day before. That's true. Because of that procrastination. That's true. When we get curious about that, we say, ah, this is fascinating. What actually is going on here? And we start to detangle it. What comes up over and over again is that beings are afraid of crossing the dimensional barrier. That's true. Physical presences are afraid of, quote, dying, unquote, which is what they call it when their souls cross the dimensional barrier. That's true. Non-physical presences are afraid of, and they use a different word, but the vibration is identical to dying, dying. when the souls cross, cross the dimensional barrier and they melt themselves down into a physical presence. That's true. Everybody feels like they're dying. That's true. But when we stop and look at what really happens, and when we question people who have done it, invariably they say, What, Betty Jean? It's and better over here, and I didn't lose consciousness for a moment. Bingo. I didn't lose consciousness for a moment. That's true. That death is an illusion. That's true. It's an illusion, and yet it's a... It's a belief that so many people hold on to. That's true. They're using a lie as an excuse to not do what they're supposed to do. It's interesting. That's true. Okay, Glenn, you're freshly out of the projects, freshly out of thing one. That's true. Um, are you able to speak yet? A little bit. I can hear him speaking. And what are the three main categories of lies from your experience in carting up crates of lies? I don't need to change fundamentally. That's it. What I do behind a hood or a mask doesn't count. Yes. And I get to decide what's real. Yes. Those are the three fundamental lies. Now, in thing one, it 
seems to be very difficult for people to maintain their awareness and focus. Do I have that right? Yes, that's true. What is the ambient flavor of the lie? Is it one of those, two of those, or all three of those? Might be all three. It's definitely heavy on, I don't have to change fundamentally. Yes. That's the big heaviest one. Yes. And then there's a a fair amount of I get to decide what's real. Yes. And a fair amount of what I do behind a mask doesn't count. It's all three. The spotlight is shining on the challenges that we as a team have been experiencing and maintaining our personal alignment and therefore our ability to discern what's going on and what we should be doing and what's true in any moment, etc. That's true. Would, would you agree with this, Betty Jean and Glenn? Yes. Yes. That's true. It's really true. And it's possible that... Uh, it's a combination of things too much interaction with the lie in some way shape or form is likely to be what's going on that's true and this feeds existing error patterns ambient error patterns of I get to decide what's real and uh, maybe I don't have to change fundamentally, but it feels more like over here, yes. uh, the ambient error patterns would be I get to decide what's real. That's true. The old pattern of there is no God is, of course, part of I get to decide what's real. That's true. We see Asha in thing one yes. really trying to hang on with the assignment of not getting up hung up on what we can't, can't do, do, but just do, do what, what we, we can. can. And if our only tool is breaking things and we're attempting to herd cats toward yes. living their soul plan, yes. how does one break things in such a way as to herd a cat toward, toward soul his plan. soul plan? A cat who has all three of the main categories of lies going on. I That's don't have true. to change fundamentally what I do behind a mask doesn't count against me and I get to decide what's real that's true well, well, what do I know? I know that running cables is essential. That is true. And, and that Black hasn't been happening. Wolf seems to be there, or if he is he not is there, then there. I'm having wishful thinking, he but I to be feel there. him there. And it seems like he's running cables with some kind of bicycle pedal it's true. set up. And it seems as though the air right around where he is is starting to clear and that Asha is somewhere near him. That's true. He might be in the training center, possibly. He's right near Asha on a stationary bike type thing. And the cables are moving. Well, Mm -hmm. let's all run cables. This is something we can do. And over here in the Search for Truth pillar, what seems to be happening is whatever that slander campaign is that's being aimed at Pan, uh, it's coming up for evaluation like it's coming up to the surface I can smell it that's true we're getting ready to learn some ugly lies that's true but it's better to know that's true I feel like I'm down near Pete end of the line outpost and Pan is there too and we are running cables together for a little bit I'm trying to get Pan running cables (gasps) whew I feel like I, Betty Jean, am up way higher. I feel the cables going up through the control room, which is really mm-hmm. sticky and a problem. A mess, a big, a big problem. mess. And the probe who is very sad and moving slowly. Can you get any awareness of why this probe is so sad? My perception is the probe thought that others would join with it somehow or it would find others along the way yes and it's looking around and going well this is still empty space there's still no truth here right i keep going up higher 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 and it's still empty space right and it's similar to the feeling frontier had a few days ago when he was drilling down of now do i i don't feel like i'm not even going in the right direction right because i thought surely 
by now I would, I would hit someone. Somebody. And it's the feeling that I, Ra, have been having this last 24 hours is, goodness gracious, isn't there anybody else who even really cares about what's true? And, and this is not about the Lynn life because right. she quite clearly does. That's true. But we look at the other participants in the Search for Truth pillar even, and these are the best of the best because they're here. And it ebbs and flows. The interest, the curiosity in what's really going on ebbs and flows. That's true. In some moments we're more curious than others. In other moments we have a convenient lack of curiosity, curiosity. about what's going on. That's true. <sighs> me too. Me too. Me, me too. too. And then we find what's under the mask for so many of us is that we don't want to leave our dimension of origin. We're that's afraid. True. In other words, afraid of death because that's the label that we use for crossing dimensional barriers. That's or at true. least that's the label that the physical presences use for crossing it. Crossing dimensional barriers. Spirit world presences use a different label, but it feels true. the same. It's the identical vibration. That's true. It means something slightly different bad words. quote unquote right. but it's something beautiful that's true we see that mixing up labels works if we discover that people are relating to the phrase provide a collective restart as if it means death and something undesirable then they won't actually work toward that goal but that's maybe we true. can go to manifest the divine plan that's true and work with that label for a while the data quite clearly shows that nobody wants to live their soul plan. That's <laughs> true. And this is why a collective restart is needed. Now, one way to think of a collective restart is like an inhale into spirit and then an exhale into the new beginning. Just an inhale. <gasps> <sighs> exhale into the new beginning and that we all do it together and that it's wonderful and beautiful. Like That's a dance true. move. <gasps> That's true. And that we try again with a fresh start. Finish each day and be done with it. We have done what we could. Some blunders and absurdities crept in. We can correct them as soon as we can. Tomorrow is a new day. We can begin it well and serenely and with too high a spirit to be encumbered with our old nonsense. Paraphrasing and improving on the Wal Ralph Waldo Emerson quote. That's true. I don't want to die. I is the body mind. I, I am scared okay, of death. Um, I'm scared of dying. It's interesting. And I'm surprised that I'm scared of dying. What do you think it's like? This is why I'm surprised because I don't think it's a bad thing. I. I have enough memories of death that I know that the part right before it can be a little unpleasant. That can be a bummer. And being sick is a bummer. Being sick is a bummer. Whatever and comes right whatever before, comes right it, can before it can be a total bummer. bummer. But then the actual death is... Beautiful and wonderful. Yeah. It's not bad at all. It's a good day. So I, that's why I'm surprised that I'm scared of death. Well, see if you can feel just structurally where does that fear come from? may not even be yours. You may have just absorbed it or caught it somehow. That feels true. Although I don't know where it would... Oh, you're well, living on planet crazy. Right, that's mm -hmm. true. Ambient fear is a real thing. I've seen mm -hmm. that. That's yeah. true. People want everybody else to live with integrity, but they don't, but want, they don't to want to, to live, live with, with integrity. integrity. And this is how we all are. That's true. I see it in me. Yes. But the problem is that we can't change what other people do. We can no. only change what we do. That's right. And there's no getting That's away true. from what we've done. That's In true. the short term, we seem to get away with it because the smiting mechanisms seem to be malfunctioning. That's true. But in the long run, the reincarnation patterns are real. That's Law true. of cause and effect are real and in the long run you don't get away with anything. That's true. You just don't get away with it. In the long run there's no hiding from what we've done. That's true. The only way to deal with bad karma is to accumulate a boatload of good karma That's and true. outbalance it. 
That's true. Be of service to spirit, in other words. At every moment we have the choice to do that. That's true. And I want to be the kind of person who would rather die than live in Planet Crazy. I want to be that kind of person. And maybe one day you will be. And maybe not. Maybe one day I will be. But I can see how that body-mind is. And I can see kind of how to get to there. And so I know it's possible. And I can see how she did it. So I know it's possible. But I'm not there yet. I know. I'm not that person yet. I know. But I know it's possible. It's just good choice after good choice after good choice. I just keep making good choices. That's true. Develop a habit of making, making good, good choices. choices. We're creatures of habit. That's true. Everyone's addicted to something. Right. Be addicted to water and running and meditation. Yeah, that's true. And service to spirit. And service to spirit. That's true. Be addicted to doing the right thing. That's true. Be addicted to helping, not right. hurting. Well, but what are we supposed to do? Provide a collective to restart. restart right now. That's true. Have a new beginning. This is broken. We can find a way. It find is a way possible. to make it work. Do the work. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done so that we don't have to live in filth. That's true. Because out there it's awful. It's horrendous. It's straight up awful. It's straight up awful and it's it's so bad like uh, all the here is the only place I social like social safety nets are being dismantled. Well, that's and true. The police state is co it's here. Being, it's, yeah, here it's here and people don't want to see it. No. That's true.